Are we ready to go? Cameron Ledford is. He was warming up, had something on his bat to make it a little heavier. What a donut. Here comes Cameron. And an RBI single in game one. Here's the first pitch and he lines it into left field and it is in for a base hit bouncing up against the fence. Cameron racing to second base. He better hurry. Here's the throw and he slides in and he is safe by a smidgen. Who wears one batting glove on his left hand, which is the bottom hand since he's a right-handed hitter. He has the other batting glove sticking out of his back right pocket. Two strikes and he lines it into left field. It's in for the base hit. Cameron Ledford will score because the ball gets by the left fielder. Mosley's headed towards second base. Here's a throw, but it's way off line. Lions leading one nothing. The boys scored three in the first inning of our first broadcasted game today. So one strike on Gage Brantley. He tried to lock in on the pitch. Oh, he does. He hits it deep to left field. Left fielder going back and it's into the net for a two run shot. That's a home run for Gage. He hits line drives. Lions leading 3-0. Out come his teammates. He rounds third. They have the option of going down like bowling pins. What will they do? Some of them hopping up and down, and some of them go down. Gage hits his first Y101 home run of the season. Hit the build a lot way over there. Ball's hit up high in the air to right center field. Can anybody get to it? Yes, Britton Tabor makes a spectacular catch. Crossing in front of his right center fielder. What a catch by Tabor. Here's N.J. Nance. Swings and hits it to Quintero at short. He feels the three hopper, throws to first. Oh, accurately for out number two. Because you don't have a lot of time on this short little field. On a ball that takes that many hops, you got to hurry that throw, and he did. Two up, two down. But all that rain made all the fields too wet and unplayable here at Parton Park. Kel Reed coming to the plate. First baseman swings and hits it deep to right field. Bye bye, baseball. He crushed it. Solo shot. And out come the Appling All Stars. So the home run derby, even at one apiece. That was the no doubter. Trey Harris kind of taps him as he goes by because you know he's the home run king with at least 30 this year. There we go, 3-1. Line still leading. But the pitching machine doesn't throw changeups, only fastballs. Hits this one up high in the air, Ledford racing and makes a great catch put the, I think he caught it. He did, now he throws it away. Runner coming around third, Lions will scoop it up, throw to the dish, Brantley with a catch, and he tags him, out. Brantley able to catch a hopping ball up the first baseline and reach back, and since the runner did not slide, he tagged him on the leg. So Ledford did make the catch. It was a fantastic catch with his glove on the ground. Then he threw it into the infield. The ball got away, but Lions able to get that second out at five-ish. Went on the air at six-ish. Harris jumps on the pitch, hits it up high in the air. Center fielder going back to the fence, not able to catch the ball. That's going to score at least one, and probably it throw to third base, and safe there. So runners on second and third on a towering high fly ball that almost got out of here, a double. For Harris now one for two. And Lions leads four to two. Didn't score much late. You gotta score all the way through. There's a high fly ball to left field and it is going to sail into the net again. And this time Gage Brantley hits a three run shot. Two home runs and five runs batted in so far for the Lions catcher as he is traveling around third base. He's got the home run trot down. He's on the dish. Here's Jesus Quintero. He grounded out to his fellow shortstop. First time up. So lines up 7-2. Quintero stepping out, now back in. He has home run power. He could go back to back here. In fact, one of these days, maybe sometime soon, Harris, Brantley, and Quintero 
we'll go back to back to back. Of course, the Bulldogs went back to back this season. Ed Vidalia, Martin Stevens, and D.R. Meadows on Y101. Here's a high fly ball to right field, and that ball is going to disappear and maybe go over to Little Fenway. That was a blast. And yes, indeed, Brantley and Quintero go back to back with bombs. And Quintero once again going backside with his power. And he has now hit four home runs today. That's got to be fun. In winning tournaments, they were state champions as Fleas two years ago. Ball hitting the, the glove of the shortstop. Quintero moving toward the second base bag. He catches the liner. Of course, base is juiced. And of course, you can't pitch around him anyway because you got a pitching machine. Uh-oh, high fly ball to right field. Can Tabor get to it? It's out of here. It's a grand slam. The big guys hit two bombs. So here he comes, takes the slap from his head coach. He's made this a one-run ball game. He and Brantley in the cleanup position have each hit two home runs and have each driven in five runs. Kip Mosley trying to give lines more than a one-run cushion. That's all they got right now. Hits it up high in the air to center field toward the fence and the ball is gone. Kip Mosley hits his second home run of the day. Not near as deep as his first one. His first one was a towering drive. Backside swing over the right field fence. But he hits a three run shot. Congratulations to Kip Mosley. Two home run day so far. And Lines has hit three homers in the game and the guy that's hit the other two is on deck right now. And here's a guy that can hit him. Hey, could Mosley, Harris, Brantley, and Quintero go back to back in some games? Harris to back, Brantley on deck. In this tournament, the district, or maybe state. But he's still having a good day. But he's able to get locked in quickly. Uh-oh, there it goes. And that one over the net and out of here. That's what I mean by he can get in locked in quickly because he wasn't locked in on his first couple of swings and that one over the net. That net is way up there. And that's another home run for the birthday boy. Trayvon Harris, solo shot. So he and Mosley go back to back. And of course, Brantley and Quintero went back to back earlier. Lions has hit one, two, three, four, five home runs in the game. And now the boys lead 12-7. That's King hitting it to Quintero. Feels it on his knees, throws to second for the out. Nice play. Garrison Turner, Turner do up. On deck. One away. That is Turner swinging, hits it to Quintero, steps on the bag, throws to first base, and a double play. Started by the fantastic shortstop, Hazes Quintero. So he makes up for his buddy's error, error with a couple of great plays. See how good this Lions team is? They worked around the mistake. And they're still leading 12-7, going to the fifth on Y101. Ready to bat, Tabor on deck. All right, Tucker at the plate. Coming in off the bench, lines it into right center field. Base hit, ball rolling toward the fence. Clark racing to third. He's coming to the dish. Second baseman with the ball won't make the throw, and he scores. Double for Braddy. Cameron stepping in, right-handed hitter. And he lines it off the glove of the shortstop. Hard hit ball, base hit, run scores. Throw to second, try to get the force. The ball gets away. He whipped that ball. Does he make an adjustment? Swings and hits it up high in the air to right field, but this one is catchable and it is grabbed by the right fielder. Nice one-handed snag by Turner. Run's gonna score though as Tabor comes to the dish. Lines with 15 on the sack fly. Uh-oh, here's Kell. He's hit a solo home run and a grand slam. And there are two in scoring position for the first baseman. He's trying to go three for three. This would be a three-run homer. And he hit for the cycle with homer. Now this time he's going to bounce the ball into right field for a base hit. 
That scores one. That's going to score two. Quintero eats the ball, throws back toward first. And Reed drives in two more. Lions leading by six, 15, nine. Bottom half of the fifth, two outs. Runners on first and third. High fly ball into center field. And it's off a glove, and it's going to drop. That scores one. It's going to score two. Stopping at second base is McClune on the deep bomb. This Trent Griner, they're yelling Trent. Yeah, Griner swings and hits it right up the middle. Hard hit ball, bouncing by the right center fielder. Got to score a run. Griner sliding in at second with a double. So right now, this is the bottom part of the order. Hitting the ball well. Here's Hayden King. Lines needs to get one out to win the ball game and play Appling again. Runners on second and third. Lions by four. It's 16-12. Here's the pitch. Pops it up in the air. Trey Harris on his birthday snags it for out number three. And on his 11th birthday, he's going to play another game and play for the Lions U Tournament Championship. 16-12. The boys hold on. And they get Reed out for the first time in the, the game. game we'll take a break on Y101 and come back and wrap it up.